finals match. Number one here in the Northrop Grumman Foundation Field. The Red Alliance off to a quick start right here. Both teams heading back over to the zones. Let's see what they can do. 88-25S scoring the five-point zone. Here comes 52-25 scoring the 20. Blue's got to match them here. Let's see what they can do. Tenton backing off there just in time. Positioning themselves, going to driver control. Red with your autonomous bonus. Countdown to driver control here in three, two, one, go. These teams are incredible. Duking it out here for an opportunity to be called the Vex Robotics World Champion in the high school division. Blue already flipping mobile goals. Very interesting strategy right there. Thus far, neither alliance interacting with the other. Each content to try to score. I'm expecting something high scoring right here. Keep an eye on Wings of Freedom here on the far side of the field. Pardon me, the near side of the field. Loading up that mobile goal. 55-25A. That's Ebot's pylon. Tipping over another mobile goal. They're playing some really sound defense right here. Pulling out all the stops with one minute remaining here in finals match number one. This is going to be a best of three right here. Watch as Ebot, they are likely going to get that stack as high as they possibly can on that mobile goal and try to bring that over to the 10 point zone. Their partners, Wings of Freedom, going to score in that stationary goal. Here come the Ebot pylons, looking to drop that 10 point goal right in there. Nicely done right there, sneaking into the zone. Blue's got their work cut out for him here. Red doing an incredible job here. Ebot pylons. Almost mocking the Blue Alliance by tipping those mobile goals over. That is a very, very sound strategy. 66-27A. That's nighttime, bots. Desperately trying to catch up here. Look at 88-25 here. Wings of Freedom about to build a gigantic tower. Likely going to put this in the five-point zone. Let's see where it goes. Ten seconds remaining. Down the stretch we come here, ladies and gentlemen. The Olympics of Robotics in five, four, three, two, one! Wow! Unbelievable match right there, ladies and gentlemen. Vex Nation, you guys are treated to an absolute scoring classic right there. Those are some enormous towers that Red has built up over there. Be an interesting one to see how this plays out. Karthik and Paul, whoo, back over to you. Thank you, Dave. Technology is just a juggernaut right now. Look, you, you gotta give it to Arts. They, they tried a different strategy. They tried to play a little defense. They tried to slow down Wings of Freedom. And the pylons go, not so fast. Remember us? We're fast, too. But what I thought was so great there was the hybrid strategy. So earlier we talked about having two offense. Then we talked about having one offense, one defense. But how about having both your robots play a little bit of strategic defense in between offensive maneuvers? Yeah, it, they, they were trying to perfect it during the round robin. And in that last match when they knew they had the number one clinch out of round robin, they really up their game and played, you know, like 50-50. They're scoring on their way back. Even after Auton, they positioned themselves to immediately tip over, tip over, right, the Arts Division's uh, mobile goal. That was a little trick. The pylons pulled at least three times in that match. Now, to their credit, the Arts Division was able to bring a lot of those goals back up, but it was wasting precious time that could have been spent stacking. So let's take a look at some of the action from that last match. So you see that intermediate defense, you know, even the Blue Alliance was doing it to the round. So Arts was doing the same thing, but it's just the Wings of Freedom and Ebop, the, the, the pylons are just so good and smooth when they have that mobile goal inside their robot base. Yeah, that hybrid strategy really playing off. It's crazy how they can transition so quickly. Now, early on in that match, I thought that the uh, Arts division was doing a good job of playing defense on Wings of Freedom. Wings of Freedom would normally have like 10 cones early stacked early on and they slowed them down a bit. But at the same time, because two robots were playing defense on Wings of Freedom. <laughs> you can't score. They, they can't weren't scoring win. any points. And the pylons were just going wild on their own. Oh well, yeah, that's what happens when they're left alone. So it's you're... When you have Wings of Freedom and the pylons out there, you have to pick your poison and vote. Hey, which one am I gonna defend? If you, if you try and defend both, you're in trouble. If you just defend one of them, it, there's just a lot of trouble. Well, yeah, trouble everywhere. So the referees are just going through this and trying to come up with a score here, Paul. So, you know, as we go forward here, it looks like it looks like the py uh, pylons had control of this match. What do you do if you're the Arts Alliance? How do you slow down Wings of Freedom? I don't know. You, you need to do it with one robot, first of all. You can't do it with two robots. Right? You can't commit your only two robots to playing defense, especially after you lost Autonomous, right? You just 
have to find a way to score points. I think they should take a page out of some of the book that happened in the round robin, and they should start moving those mobile goals of the red of the you know of the technology divisions. Uh, Alliance mobile goals into space well, where it's harder to get. We're going to see how this all plays out, Paul, but we do have a score ready from this match, and the score is... Technology takes it 150 to 85. Now, let's take a moment to recognize the award winners on both the science and technology divisions.